Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Squarespace domain to Wix website. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for you to connect your Squarespace domain to your Wix website here, what we need to do is we need to first access the connect a domain option or setting in our Wix website. Now, typically in your admin dashboard here, you just need to click on settings at the bottom left here and access the domain or connect a domain option there. And you should be able to see the same UI here. Once we've done that, we now need to get our domain. Now, go ahead and open up your uh, Squarespace account. Click on the three dotted icon or tree bar icon at top right and select domains. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to go to overview and copy the domain that you see there. Now, once you've copied it, go back into the Wix website here paste your domain and click on let's go it should ask you is the following uh, the following domain is taken is it yours so in this case if you own that domain just click on yes i own this domain and from here it's going to start finding your domain provider so this might take a while so just wait for it now next thing you want to do here is you want to follow the following steps that they will be providing you so there are uh, overall there's like four steps they need to follow so first is you need to log into your domain provider Next is you need to find your domain settings page. And next is you need to find your name service. Now the first two steps here, we've already done that because we already are in the settings page of our account. So meaning you won't have to worry about it. So just go back in to your uh, uh, account for your, um, in this case, your Squarespace domain section. So you want to go to the left panel here. You want to go to DNS and click on domain name servers, which is the what we are looking for. Now, in this case, once you're in here, what we need to do is we need to go back into our Wix here. And the final step here is we just need to replace the actual name servers. Now, in this case, you could go and copy the following name servers here for Wix. Go ahead and copy that. And you want to go back into your domain name servers and you need to click on the use custom name servers. And once you click on it, just enter the name servers that we just pre previously saw. Now, once you've, you've entered those two name servers, one and two, we saw before, just click on save. Now, it's going to start verifying your, the connection itself. It might take a while here, but it should notify you that the connection has been established. Now, your website or your domain will be usable after 48 hours. So there's a thing we call DNS, DNS propagation. So your website will not be immediately be, immediately be available uh, across the internet. So meaning it will not be able, uh, they will, people will not be able to immediately access it. You need to wait for 48 hours. They will also notify you or email you if your uh, domain has been successfully connected. So it's a waiting game from here on. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.